So today I'm talking about a P0132 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0132 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit high voltage bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders, which keeps the engine running very well. But when you get a P0132 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with one of these, mainly the bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. So if you Google the number one cylinder on your engine, since there will be differences, then that's going to be the bank one side. And that's going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter because you only have one bank. And each bank of the engine is going to have two sensors. Sometimes there could be more, but usually there's two sensors on each bank of the engine. Sensor one is going to be located right before the catalytic converter. It's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located right after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's going to be called the downstream O2 sensor. And the one the computer's seen a problem with is going to be this upstream bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And one thing to note about this P0132 code is that if the engine is running rich, which basically means that there's more fuel than air going into the cylinders that can sometimes trigger this P0132 code. And if that is the cause, that can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since it can be caused by so many different things. So just keep in mind that if that is the cause, then this code can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0132 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor 102 sensor just failed. It just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing it. You can use a multimeter to test it. You can also use an OBD2 scan tool. If you have a scan tool with the graph function inside of it, that could come in very handy when you go to troubleshoot this. Basically, you want to see what the minimum voltage is and the maximum voltage is. And it should be going like this, up and down, up and down in a steady kind of pattern like this. This would be a good working bank one sensor 102 sensor. But if it looks like this, or if the voltage is really high or something like that, then you know there's some kind of issue there. You know it needs to be fixed. There's some good YouTube videos on this if you want to go about testing it this way. And like I said, you can also use a multimeter to test it. There's also some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, there's any kind of issues inside the wiring, like an open, there's some kind of short, there's something going on there. So that's going to cause issues. If you do go to check the wiring, you will need to get a diagram or schematic for your particular vehicle since there will be differences on what's going on with the wiring and things like this. These O2 sensors are going to have heater elements built into them, which basically help it to heat up very quickly and help it to go into what's called a closed loop quicker and start working. And then you're also going to have wires going back to the computer, which is reporting to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. So you will need to get a diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. And also keep in mind that these can be on a fuse sometimes. Sometimes it could be kind of confusing which fuse it is or if there is a fuse or what's going on. But just keep in mind that sometimes these can be on a fuse. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue inside the wiring. The next thing that could cause this is an exhaust leak. And basically if there's an exhaust leak and outside air is getting into the exhaust, it could throw those sensors off and cause them to do weird things. So it can be a good idea to keep a lookout for any kind of exhaust leaks because if outside air is getting into that exhaust, it can throw those sensors off and cause them to do weird things. And the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine is running in a rich condition through which that O2 sensor is reading and causing the millivolts to be high and triggering this P0132 code. Usually if that happens, you'll be getting other codes, like you'll be getting rich codes or you'll be getting like a sensor code or a bad injector code, something along those lines. Like I said before, if the engine is running rich, this is notoriously hard to diagnose because it could be caused by so many different things. For some reason, more fuel than air is going into the cylinders on bank one side of the engine. And that could be a lot of things. That could be a bad injector, a bad sensor. The airflow can be blocked going in. There's a lot of different things that could cause that. But like I said, usually if that happens, you're going to be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be that the engine is running rich. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0132 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.